Soaps, my name is Katie Carson, I am the Duchess of Suds, and today we are going to be making an artisan soap. So this is different from a frosted soap, it doesn't have the frosting on top, it weighs a little bit less, and we typically make kind of different designs with them. I wanted to do something that was very, I don't know, I guess 90s-esque. I also don't have a lot of blue in this collection, there's tons of pink everywhere. I wanted to do something, at least one thing, without pink. Also, I just have to take a minute to brag on these earrings. These were sent to my P.O. box from one of the members of the royal court. You know who you are. And everything in the background area and if I can find this shirt which my mom got me for my birthday and all the makeup and stuff will be linked down below for you guys. Anyways, I have chatted enough. I hope you guys enjoy the video and without further ado, let's make some soap. Alright guys, let's go ahead and make our Good Vibes soap. So I have all of my oils here. The recipe that I'm using is down in the description box below. It's the same recipe I've been using for years and years. There are literally hundreds of people who have tagged me in posts on Instagram and on TikTok using this recipe and having great, great success with it. I also have a free recipe or two in the Royal Creative Academy if you would like to learn how to make soap both beautifully and inexpensively. Gonna go ahead and blend this up on high and guys I'm about to have to retire this stick blender because I've started to notice some graininess in my batter due to the air trapped in the stick blender which just happens every now and then. This is a $25 stick blender from Amazon. I've had it for about two years now so it's just time. It's time. What color should I get next? Let me know. Alrighty, so now I have to pour off my two accent colors, which honestly, they're not really accents because I'm pouring off so much of the batter. It's really more of an even split between three containers. Alright, so now for color and fragrance. To the big container, I'm adding titanium dioxide. And to the accents, I'm adding Tahitian teal and true yellow. And then to all the containers, we're going to add our fragrance oil mixed with kaolin clay. All right, so let's go ahead and blend this up. All right, so we're doing an in the pot swirl today. I think that's gonna give us the most groovy licious appearance. I'm going to begin by pouring the yellow into one side and I am not going to scrape the bucket very much, just like a teeny tiny bit. Still leaving a good portion unscraped. Then we'll do the same for the other side. I'm gonna pour kind of hard because I want this to get to the very bottom. And again, we'll leave that bucket it unscraped. I'm gonna leave this just as it is. I'm not gonna mix anything up and I'm gonna start pouring into our large slab mold after this quick commercial break. So I'm gonna start by just pouring everything in. I'm gonna pour about half of my batter and then we're gonna stop and we're gonna put in some soap canes. Lefty righty all over the place and that looks about good to me. So I'm gonna stop and then I'm gonna put in some soap canes. So let me kind of shimmy this down a little bit. It's quite thick right now. It will definitely hold the soap canes where they're supposed to be. And what I'm now noticing about this mold is that it's brand new and completely unmarked. <laughs> which, you know, is actually fine for this particular soap, but uh, I will definitely be, be fixing that before I uh, do any others, because if this was something I needed, say, a grid for, that would be very troubling indeed. And it doesn't really matter to me if these are dead in the center. In fact, having them slightly off center, I think would look a little bit better. All right, now that all of those are in, I can go ahead and add the rest of the batter. So I'm just going to once again pour randomly after I cover up each one of these with some soap just to make sure that they're covered because I have done some soap where I have poured it in and uh, yeah, it didn't get fully covered and it just did not look that good. Scrapey, scrapey, my big pointy. 
if I did this soap with like a blue and a purpley red, it would look like toothpaste. <laughs> Okay, now I am going to tap this down so we can get a little bit more even distribution and I feel pretty confident doing that because the soap is quite thick. The hope is always that the soap doesn't shift when you do that. And we are going to do a splat top for the top of this bar, meaning I'm just gonna take some of this extra soap that I have and just splat it all over. I, I love to swirl. I think it looks cool. I think it looks super, super beautiful, but for this, I want wanted it to look kind of arty, kind of like paint, give you kind of like a kid finger paint nostalgic 90s vibe. Now putting a teeny tiny bit onto my soap and throwing it like this will create a slightly different look than me taking bigger blobs and just smacking them on there. But it's art. Everybody's tops that they make like this are going to look different that's part of the fun. I love doing techniques that get to be unique depending on who makes them. Drop swirls are like that. In the pot swirls are like that. It creates a very, very personalized and individual appearance to soaps. All right, time for the yellow. We'll just smack some of that on there. I'm taking littler bits of this because I am trying to fill up some areas that I see don't have as much on there. I hope you guys are having a truly marvelous day. I know I am. I just finished up Ingleside. And that last chapter of that book Man, I remember crying at that when I was like 10. Before I understood the struggles of motherhood or understood the changes of life, it's just a fantastic read. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Something all ages can enjoy and probably something all ages can benefit from. If the Ann books have taught me anything, it's that there is beauty to be found in life wherever you are, no matter the stage or the situation. So much of Anne's happiness was attitude and not situational. She was an orphan uh, and her imaginings that helped her kind of make it through tougher times um, had to do with her just being determined uh, to make the best out of a situation. And, you know, as a book lover, as someone who likes to read about fictitious characters that do hard things and keep good attitudes. She has always been an inspiration to me personally. And now my friends, I will tap this down on the ground. Ah, it's such a happy bar. It's such, such a happy soap. I'm gonna wipe down any little tidbits that may have popped up whenever I was smacking things around. Surprisingly, there don't seem to be that many. Most of the time when I do that technique, you'll just find stuff all over the place because it's just a messier way to do it. And now we have a little bit of biodegradable eco-friendly glitter. This is from The Good Glitter. It is the extra chunky blue. And I am going to gently sprinkle that all around. Actually, I should spritz this with rubbing alcohol first. 99% or 91% rubbing alcohol is my choice favorite. And here we go again. So I'm going to start by just sprinkling it everywhere. I may find that I need to use something to help break up any clumps, but this is falling pretty lightly. It's a very thin, thin glitter, which makes for really easy distribution. All the same, I feel more comfortable with this. <laughs> this glitter adds a whole new level to the soap. And while I really loved it before, I love the colors. I know that that yellow is going to tone itself down a little bit as it saponifies. I do feel like this glitter does just take it to a whole nother level. It adds that little bit of like California sunshine, sparkling, silver pool mermaids feel to it uh, that just ties right into our whole girl world collection. All right, friends, the good vibes soap is done. Except for I kind of don't want to call it good vibes anymore. Now I kind of want to call it happy thoughts. Like, think happy thoughts. I prefer that. I feel like the whole good vibes thing is a little oversaturated right now. And this is just very happy to me. So I think I'm going to change the name to happy thoughts and I'll bring you guys in for a close up.
Here we are up close and personal. I keep trying to move the camera really fast so that it won't focus on the soap top and you can see the level of shimmer that is added with that glitter on top. I cannot wait to cut into this. I think it's gonna be a really beautiful batch. We will do that in 18 to 24 hours, so stay tuned after this quick commercial break. So these colors actually turned out quite a bit better than I thought they were going to. I'm still gonna make them a little bit more pastel and a little less potent, but overall, I mean, kind of no complaints. And even in the places where it swirled a little bit, that green looks really good, so uh, yeah. So let's line this up with Evangeline. Give it a good cut. Pull one from the middle, and this is what it looks like on the inside. So I'm really pleased because this soap cane actually is very, very different from the inside of the bar. I didn't know with this much yellow if that was going to look overpowered, but I think it looks good. Look at this one. Ooh. And then also <gasps> the back. It looks so good. It kind of looks like a yellow moon in the desert. Caleb took a look at these and said they look super, super 90s, which of course is exactly what I was going for. And then stamped with a stamp, this is what it looks like. Now we tried stamping with some mica, but it ended up looking kind of creepy. So we're just gonna leave it plain like this. Also, we may or may not try to get a smaller smiley face to kind of I don't know, decrease a little bit since the smile is right on the edge here. We'll see what gets in in time, but even if this is what we end up using, I still think it looks really good. Ooh, look at that. It's like two little peacock feathers. And then also, look at the top. That glitter, oh, so good. I have officially renamed these to Keep Smiling Bars. And also, I would just like to say, this soap was kind of inspired by somebody on Instagram. They make beautiful beaded necklaces, bracelets, and jewelry. Their name is Glass Candy on Instagram, and I just found them like maybe at the beginning of this year, and I just love everything they post. It just looks so stunning. I'm really itching to get one of the necklaces that is inspired by the ocean because they're just so stunning. So there you go. This is uh, kind of inspired by that company. They use a lot of smiley faces and happy faces in their work. Um, we just love it. Shout out to them. I'll leave their Instagram down below. And then also, don't forget to answer the question of the day, which is, do you prefer the new Walmart branding or do you prefer the old Walmart branding where they had smiley faces everywhere and roll back stickers? All I'm saying is I love the sleek rebranding of all the different sections. However, having happy faces everywhere was such a vibe and we need to go back to that. Thanks y'all so much for watching. I hope you guys like what I did today. And also, I hope you guys like the updated version. We're gonna go a little more light, a little fluffier. If you'd like to see some shorter versions of these videos, check me out on TikTok and Instagram. I post little mini soap making videos there. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, like going out and putting on some wild makeup and wearing it to Walmart so that everybody can see how fabulous you are. Or perhaps purchasing a Lego set and building it. I don't know why I thought about that, but there it is. <laughs> I don't really care what you do, just be sure you do something fun for yourself. That's the main point, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, bye for now! Yeah.